Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke if you guys are new here. Welcome to, I guess we're gonna call it my moving series. I don't know, this is all happening very fast. So I'm currently in the process of looking at units in New York. To be clear, I'm not moving tomorrow, um, whatever, but I am going to be touring another apartment today that I wanted to share with you guys. This is gonna be a little different because someone does live in this unit, so I have to determine what I'm gonna show. Before I go any further, you should go watch my last video because I think I do a better job of like catching you guys up on like my thought process and things like that in that video, my last moving video, so I'll link that in a card. You should also subscribe if you're new and joining on this journey because like I said, I'm planning to move to New York, not tomorrow, but soon. Looking at some units and I don't want you guys to miss any videos. For the city day today, I'm just wearing this cute little crop shirt from Talentless. I love it. It's very fun. So we're looking at another unit. I say we because my family is coming with me. We're going to drive into the city, wear our masks, do the whole thing. And we're looking at another unit today um, that I really like. This one is great has a doorman it just has a few more of the amenities that i'm looking for with that comes it's a little more expensive so obviously that's a con um but we're gonna look at it it's not available until mid july late july i think so i wouldn't even be moving until then anyways and it's still may just so we know because i know that was the biggest comment in my last moving video that i, I did everyone was like Maybe just don't move yet, you know? Like, the city's like a weird place right now. Completely agree. I'm not trying to like rush the gun or whatever, which is why I passed on that other unit, but I'm just looking and if the right unit comes up and it's perfect and perfect timing, I'm gonna do it. And I asked for everybody's opinion on my last video and I see your opinions and thank you so much for all the feedback. I'm not gonna try to get everybody's feedback again because I need to make decisions for myself. It was really helpful hearing what you guys have to say and stuff and I would say the responses were pretty 50-50. You know, people like, this is a really good time for real estate, like maybe you should move right now and then people that are like, don't jump the gun, I'm moving out of the city, etc. So it's all mixed. The world's a weird place right now. Speaking of which, I have these masks from Casetify. I'm gonna try this white one, but my makeup's gonna get all freaking over it, isn't it? But yeah, we're gonna take my car in and my mom, my dad, and I are gonna go. They just like to come with. I mean, I think it's fun for them to kind of live through me. I've never talked about this. My parents never lived in the city. They just have lived in like this suburb that we live in now their entire life because they had me, well, they got married when they were like my age, which is crazy. So they got married when they were my age and then they had me at 27. So they never like lived in the city. So I think this is all kind of like different for them, which I think it's cool that they get to like kind of do it with me. And I love doing it with them because they are the best and very knowledgeable. I changed into this white shirt and mom jeans still. Is that what you call them? Wow, the bathroom is large. Yeah, this is perfect. I know, but they have like this makeup area. I love the freezer like this. <laughs> Costco, we got a car full of stuff. So much stuff. We just stopped at the way on the way home just quickly at Costco to get food, right, whatnot. Stuff. Stocked up for the house. We're gonna do a little debrief. Let me fix my hair. All right, guys, it has been a day. Let's do a little debrief. So the units that I showed you guys, um, there was actually three in there. The first one is the actual unit, but someone is living there right now. So then I was able to see a studio and then a bigger one bedroom. The building itself was so nice. It has everything that I'm looking for. Great area, super safe. And the super was the one who like took us around and did everything because the realtor couldn't make it. And it was just great. Honestly, 10 out of 10. I really like it. I really felt comfortable. Basically, they're telling me that they could do mid-July for that lease. So I don't really know what to do. I don't know what to do, you guys. 
because I really like it. I really feel comfortable there. And I know, I, I, I see all the comments that are like, you know, if you like something broke, something else good will come up. I know that, you know, you don't want to rush into it or whatever, but it really did. It was like one of those places where it really did just like feel right. And it felt like a good thing. And like the value for the price is, so I guess I will say it's a little bit above my original budget, but it has all of those nicer like amenities that I would have liked to have, a rooftop, things like that and just the safety element of having a doorman and like 24 seven people in the building, whatever, which I'm realizing that I do need. I guess I'll keep you guys updated in this vlog because I'm not gonna do anything now. I'm gonna like take a second, probably sleep on it and then we'll figure it out. But I did really like it. It's just like the balance of what's going on in the world. And I see you guys saying, don't do anything impulsive. I'm not trying to be impulsive or whatever. Obviously this has been something I've wanted to do for a while now. It's just, it sucks like given the current circumstances. And I see you guys that are like, prepare for a second wave and stuff. And I, I watch the news, you guys, I am very aware of what's going on in the world, but I don't wanna put my whole entire like life on pause right now. I feel like I need to do some things for me, but then it's the balance of like, I don't wanna make a mistake and regret it later. Like, I don't wanna regret this. I'm stressed. I, don't, I really don't know what to do. I'm gonna sit on it for a little bit and I'll keep you guys posted, but that was fun before. And then we went to Costco. I have a call right now for Gals in the Go with our producer or whatever. And then it's Friday. So we're gonna go make some froze and stuff like that, which I thought you guys would be, you guys would enjoy. My mom wanted me to show the, the new crackers that she put out. We have this huge salad with a rotisserie chicken we got today from Costco and a new bowl from Costco that you wanted to show on the wall. Why? Daddy said no good on the bowl, so I'm gonna give it to the apartment. Why? But look, it's nice for you. Why is it not good? He said it's not It's not good to chop because his hands have to uh, be really touching it, but it's very good for you. Hello, next day. I'm about to have a little pool day. It's gonna be so warm outside. It's Saturday, happy Saturday, everyone. I'm wearing this oversized shirt from Urban. It's actually like a dress. Very cute. Um, and then these little jean shorts. And then underneath I have on that new pink ASOS bathing suit. It's really, really cute and flattering. Like once it's like pulled into place, very cute. So I will link the swimsuit because I really like it and it fits me pretty well. I don't know how to show this without being weird, but the bottoms are also high-waisted. Very flattering, big fan. So I'm gonna go relax outside and I'll update you guys hopefully when I'm more tan. <laughs> I really let all of my self-tanner and everything fade because I really wanna just get a nice uh, actual color from the sun. Not that I think I'm like crazy pale or anything, but you know, just a little sun. I did put sunscreen on my face. I can show you guys my medicine cabinet. I'm in the process still of like reorganizing this, but um, I do have a bunch of my like hair products and things like that here. It's like a mirror in the back. So this is me. I use this every night to take off my makeup. And then these are the two sunscreen products I've been using. This is the Super Goop Bright Eyed um, under eye cream, but it's SPF 40, but then I use this on my face. This is the super group SPF 40 daily moisturizer. I can link this below really gentle on the skin. Doesn't smell crazily like sunscreen. You know, sometimes you guys might get this, like use a sunscreen product and it's like, Ooh, like it smells and it's sticky and it's not it. This is it. So keep your skin safe. Use sunscreen. Using sunscreen is freaking cool. Okay. Yeah. I don't really have this like crazy organized. I need to really work on it. Um, but uh, I have like my extra razors there, my retainer case from Amazon, a bunch of you guys asked me about, I think it's fun. Um, and then these I use every day, the facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. Honestly, it's, it could be worse. These are like my face masks I've been loving from Blue. Wearing these little Joss Fab shoes, I really need to repaint my toes. Oof, I cannot wait till I can like get my nails done again, but that's not gonna be for a while. For dinner, we got personal pizzas. Meatball, rag. What did you get, Mom? I got sausage. I was like, whoa. Yum, that looks so good. I like pizza good. like that. And Daddy got pepperoni. I have to take a picture, you guys. Love a good morning bagel. This is my favorite kind of cream cheese, if anybody was wondering. I took off this past week um, just because I vowed on social media to take a pause, to focus on everything, more important things in the world. But I wanted to pick up the vlog here. I know it's been like a week. Check out this radical tan line. I tanned in a bathing suit that had like sleeves, which I thought was good because it would protect my shoulders. Um, but then I realized that the unevenness of this tan line is just absurd. I'm wearing this cute dress. It's an exercise dress from Outdoor Voices. I've been obsessed with these. I have it in white and green. 
I wear a size medium. I'll show you guys a better clip of it later. I'm gonna go get a coffee, start my day. It is Sunday currently, and just having a lovely little morning. I let myself sleep in. I think we're gonna hang out by the pool today. So just like a nice day. It's been a series of beautiful weather days and just really good days like with my family and everything. So I'm really, really thankful. So let's go. Hope you guys are all doing well. I'm having half of this everything bagels, some scallion cream cheese, and my coffee. This is the recent order. And I get it with the nitro lid so that I don't have to get a straw, although they are paper straws here um, in Suffolk County. This is what the recent order is. Venti cold brew, soy milk, three pumps, sugar-free vanilla, and then I just get the nitro lid. Super easy. How freaking cute is this dress, you guys? So this is the exercise dress from Outdoor Voices, like I said. I will link it below, wearing a medium. Love it for like if you're running out. I mean, if you play tennis or something, it's perfect because it does have the little spandex underneath. I'm out of breath from running up the stairs. And then I'm wearing a Fabletics um, sports bra, by the way. My tan lines are so bad, but it is what it is. I'm gonna change down to some workout clothes and we're gonna head downstairs. Okay, I just changed into um, an Outdoor Voices set, actually. I wanted to talk to you guys because I recently purchased the soul cycle at home bike which is what i'm going to be i'll bring you guys downstairs and i'll show you like a little tour and stuff this is my fourth day using it i am just really upset i guess in the light of recent events it's really led me to do more research into the companies that i support financially and also just in terms of working with them i never was compensated by soul cycle i was gifted free classes by them um back when i was still using their studios but i haven't been to a studio since february so just to clarify and not every class was free it was like a set amount per month so yeah i've just been really trying to work at actually researching these companies that i support and just with everything that has happened recently it's really led me to wake up obviously and realize that that's a way that i could support and a way that i could use my voice so I do want to discuss SoulCycle today. SoulCycle is a corporation. Their parent company, I think that this is right, their parent company is Equinox, or they're a part of like the Equinox family. And that company openly supports funding Trump campaigns. They're funding Trump's re-election, basically. That's where they're donating their money to. I went to SoulCycle's Instagram page to see if they had posted anything for Black Lives Matter, pledged a donation. All right, this is me popping in from a few days later. SoulCycle has posted a little bit more on their Instagram. They're doing like a charity ride thing. Um, so all of what I say still applies, I guess, um, just because I feel like they still could do more. And I know a lot of you guys in my last video asked me to address like the fact that they are funding Trump's re-election and stuff like that. So I just wanted to talk it all out and my feelings and thoughts and whatnot. So this is from a few days ago like many other major corporations are doing even if they haven't you know openly supported in the past pretty much every company now is pledging a donation just because that's what you do right now like that is the bare minimum a company should do you know if you haven't supported it all in the past all you can do now is pledge to be better and soul cycle statement they haven't posted anything on their story in a lot of days and it says that our voices are our power and right now we're taking the time to listen and learn check out some of our recommended resources and take action and stay tuned for more information on how you can keep this conversation going and then they tagged a few accounts and they posted for blackout tuesday that's it so it's just the black screen which in my opinion, I think you could do a little bit better than that, but okay. Besides the weak post there, they haven't pledged any donations because they're funding Trump's re-election, which I just think is a little ridiculous. I try not to get too political on this channel, but this is where I draw the line. And I am ashamed that I financially supported this company when they stand for all of the wrong values, which it's just so messed up to me because the culture of actual soul cycle you know in boston in new york where else have i rode i'm trying to think i've you know taken classes in california i've taken them like in a bunch of different cities now but mostly boston because it's where i lived the culture is so inclusive and diverse and it just doesn't add up like there's something missing there so i'm confused as to how the community could be that way but then the parent company is they're not even close like we're polar opposites on the spectrum here so i'm really struggling with it because i wanted to share with you guys my bike and everything but i really don't want to encourage you guys to purchase it because i don't want to encourage you, anybody to support this company right now especially right now i'm trying to do my best i want soul cycle to i mean i know that like brooke michio isn't going to make soul cycle change their beliefs like i understand that but i feel like if the influencers of soul cycle step up and say like you need to do better there's more of a likelihood 
I don't know. But then I'm reading this and I see like some of my instructors, you know, from Boston and stuff commenting on this post and they're personally pledging donations, but SoulCycle Corporate isn't. Something isn't adding up here. It's just really weird. I'm not here for it. I don't like that at all. Read here, Peloton donated $500,000 to the NAACP. SoulCycle did nothing. It's not it. Do better, SoulCycle. I don't like that. I bought this bike over a month ago and I know that I should have already educated myself that they are supporting Trump's re-election and stuff like that. Although I've really just opened my eyes to it, which I apologize for. So I did purchase this bike. I have been riding on it because I have it. And I really like it. That's the thing that sucks because I have been really enjoying my experience. I really wanted to be able to promote this bike genuinely from my heart and be like, hey, this is cool, whatever. But this isn't cool. This is not cool. It's just, it's just so crazy because it really is one of those communities where it's like the most accepting be crazy be whoever you are be your true like wildest self one of those places where i truly felt like it's okay to be whoever the heck you are like there's no mold that you have to fit or whatever like you can you know what i mean it's a very welcoming community once you're like in it i feel like you know getting used to it, it's obviously like kind of hard and stuff but like once i was like in it i loved it and i felt so like like a sense of home, I guess, but this ain't it. Do better, Soul Cycle. So with all that being said, we're down here in my home gym. They did deliver the bike and this is it. I guess I'll show you guys around after that full disclaimer. And with that being said, I should say like, <sighs> I don't want to be anti-soul, like I love them, you guys, like it literally, I hate to be like so cheesy, but it changed my freaking life. What can we do to make this better? You know what I mean? So if any of you guys are like soul cycle riders and you struggle with like the same kind of moral things that I am right now, please let me know what you do. But basically the bike here, it really resembles a studio bike. I'm not gonna say it's the same because I don't really know, honestly, um, but it's really high quality. It's on unstable ground because it's carpeted down here. So that's the only thing for me, it's a little unstable, but when I do eventually move, I will bring this with me and I probably won't have carpet. So that's that. Same adjustments as a normal soul cycle bike. So you like go through and adjust it, you know, to your custom settings. And there's video walkthroughs if you've never taken a soul cycle class or you need help. Um, doing all that in the accessories package you get to pick your weights and stuff I think I showed that in another vlog so I have the two pounders the regular resistance style and then I'll show you guys a little bit of the screen which it all comes with this whole setup for the price the only thing that you have to pay after you get the bike oh and I got new shoes because um, I've never had these ones before these kind of like the spin shoes they're really nice you have to connect headphones or something remote i don't e i think it does have a speaker but it's not very powerful so like you're supposed to use your own thing um on the side there's a little power button i know the screen's a little dirty right now you connect it to your soul cycle account and then to a various slash like whatever account so basically you we have all of the classes here there's only like 60 something right now which sounds like a lot but i'm really picky about my music so i go to explore music dance because i really like like dance edm music and i've just been picking from this list really great honestly i like the way that the classes are filmed and everything too i've actually really been enjoying that here like we can sort by oldest newest classes taken it will show you like if you've taken it before or the instructors and stuff so yeah you just connected to wi-fi i'm connected to like my house's wi-fi which it's really not that great down here but it still connects just fine the actual system itself considering a lot of people were like maybe get a peloton because this is the version one of the at-home soul cycle bike and i was like i just love soul like soul cycle so much i really wanted to do it and i really like it so keep all of that in mind what i just said you know if you're considering purchasing i know it becomes available in like multiple states whatever uh the mat i think comes with it or comes with the accessories package and i think that that's about everything i want to show you guys like what a class looks like so i guess we'll do that really really quick yeah and it does tell you the music here oh like look at this one tomas and he, it's like all calvin harris like i love calvin harris so that's great and it tells you like a breakdown of the class before you take it and then you hit play and then it's like a 10 second loading screen and then it plays oh see it is playing it out loud right now cool so you can pause it from the bottom. You can see the progress bar, which means like how far along in the class you are. From this side, it's volume. From this side, it's loading rider view. So that's like, you know, if you want to see like a little icon of like what it would look like if you were in the class. Um, and then up here is your info. So like how far you've rode and stuff, which I don't like to show that while I ride. I like to look at that stuff after. And overall the quality and everything, I read online like mixed reviews before I got this. And I think the quality of it is really good i mean i've never used a peloton so i guess i can't compare but you know yeah all right and this is what it looks like after you guys that was really good it gives you your beat match 
a bunch yeah. of stats, the songs. It's really cool. Yeah, I was trying to make sure it's stretch. Oh my god, look at me. I sweat so much from cycling, I don't know why. Hey. Alrighty guys, I'm getting ready for bed now. I just didn't really vlog that much today. It was just a chill day with my fam. I'm wearing this adorable set and I think you guys are gonna really be obsessed with it too. It looks like that, it's like a Barefoot Dreams blanket or something, that leopard print, but it's pants too. Hold on, let's see, I'll stand here. Oh my God, I feel like my thing might bust in. Look at this. It's like a little cute two piece. It's from a black-owned business, Shop St. Cole. I did a lot of shopping this week to support black-owned businesses, and I definitely plan to continue that, of course, too. I also purchased this body cream, body lotion from Corey's Care. She makes these all handmade, and this one smells like lemon. I've doused this over my body before because I was super dry. Did a great job of moisturizing me up, so Shop St. Cole is the scent. Really cute. Corey's Care is the lotion. So I'm just going to take off my makeup with my... Bioderma. Really like this stuff. Here, let me tie my hair back too. I think I really talked about everything that I wanted to in this vlog because we talked about Soul Cycle, my thoughts on it. It's just, it's great. Like, it's just a shame because the bike and everything is really, really good. It's just like, the company is just. I'm struggling a little bit. This week coming up is gonna be a good one. I think I'm gonna do a week in my life vlog for you guys just so I can start getting back on a normal rhythm with the vlogs. And I think that will be super fun too. In a few weeks, we're gonna go back to Boston and move me out. Oh, I have some exciting announcements, I guess, like of life, kind of based on like what happened in this vlog and stuff, which I will announce in another vlog. Cause I, I feel like I've just talked about so much in this one. It's just bombarded with information. Let me know if you guys like the apartments that I showed you in the beginning of the vlog. Let me know your thoughts on that just general thoughts, whatever you're thinking, just dump in the comments. Let's just have a heart to heart. We're gonna podcast tomorrow. It's gonna be a good week ahead. I'm gonna plan some now once I get into bed. I love that, like Sunday night doing stuff for the rest of the week. We're planning for the week ahead. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you all in my next vlog. Bye guys.